What's up guys, Justin here with DCGessentials.com back with another Blender floor plan modeling tutorial for you. So in this week's video, we're gonna talk about how to add floors inside of our model using the Blender add-on Archipack. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you remember last week, we started off this floor plan by bringing in an image to scale and using the add-on Archipack in order to start creating our walls and our doors. So this week, we're gonna continue using Archipack in order to create our floors inside of our model. And so the first thing we need to do is make sure this is enabled. So go up to Edit, Preferences, and you're gonna go under the option for add-ons. You can just type in Archi, and just make sure the option for Archipack is checked in here. So as long as Archipack is checked, you should be good to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about some ways to create floors inside of our models. So the first thing I wanted to point out, and it's not really a floors thing as much as a slabs thing, is within the, the add-on Archipack, you have the ability to add a slab. And so if I was to tap the N key and then go into my Archipack options, or actually under my Create options inside of Archipack, you can see how there's an option in here for creating slabs. And then there's also an option in here for creating floors. And so a slab is going to create a slab from a wall. So for example, if I was to select this wall right here, which is my perimeter wall that goes around everything and then click on a uh, slab, what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a slab model, giving your floor some thickness inside a blender. And so what that's done is that's actually come in here and created a slab. One thing to note about the slab though, is it's basically one face across your whole building. And it also comes in here and it gives it thickness, but it gives it thickness going up. Um, you can go into the Archipack options, select this. So with your slab selected, when you click on Archipack, if you want this to go down instead, you can just type in negative 0.5 or whatever you want this to be. And then this will bring this in at the level of the bottom of your walls and your slab will go down. But again, that's really more creating a concrete slab for our building, not necessarily um, a slab that we're gonna use for our flooring, but that is in here as an option. So I'm gonna delete that out. And what we wanna do now is we wanna create, so there's two options really using Archipack to create your floors if you're not gonna use the slabs. And so the first is you can just um, select your exterior wall. And then if you go into your create function of Archipack, there's an option in here for create floor from wall. Right, so if you look at this, you have an option in here for a floor object, and then you have an option in here for floor from wall. So if you have your wall selected and you click on floor from wall, you can see how this is gonna pop up a window, giving you a number of different options of different kinds of floors that you can use. So for example, and these are all adjustable, by the way. For example, if you wanted this to have wood boards, you could click on the boards. And what it'll do is it'll create a floor object that runs all the way across your entire model. And so that's the quick, easy way to do do this the problem with this is then you can't change the flooring material in individual rooms because you can see how this is a flooring object that runs across your whole model right so this is in here you can definitely make changes so you can click on the Archipack option with this selected and you can change like the kind of floor so you can see how this initially comes in here as boards but you can set this to have like hexagons or whatever you want in here and just to make this a little bit more visible I'm gonna click on the random thickness button just so you can see that this is coming in here and this is creating like tile geometry but generally speaking these don't show super well so this is one way to add a floor and uh, note that i'm having some issues with the flooring materials maybe some of you can help me because i can't seem to find very much online about this so there is a default material library that you can download for archipack and what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to be able to go into edit preferences and then under your archipack settings you're supposed to be able to tell it where that file that you downloaded is located. So in this situation, it's supposed to be looking for this Archipack material library file, and it's supposed to load that in when you create new objects and um, allow you to add materials in here. So it's like a default material library. For some reason, those are not showing up in here. So if you've had this issue, um, leave a comment down below and let me know. But for the actual adding of the flooring material, and we can, we're gonna talk about materials a little bit more in the next video, but for right now, now what we've done at the moment is we've created this floor that kind of runs across everything right so and you can adjust this by going to the arc pack settings and you can adjust things like the length of the boards and other things like that if you want to do that 
However, um, the problem with this is you can't apply materials to different rooms if you do that. So what we can do instead is instead of doing this with uh, the from walls option, there's also an option in here, and I'm gonna delete this floor out. There's also an option in here to add a floor object. So what the floor object is going to do is it's gonna allow you to select this type again so we can select the boards in this situation again. I'm just gonna move this over using the G key. And I'm gonna place this right here. What you can do with this one is you can actually, in the parts section, you can add parts to this. So what that means is you can add pieces to this floor and you can actually drag these little points in order to make them align with your walls. So what I can do is I can drag this into the corner and I can use this in order to create a custom floor for each area. Now one thing I would highly recommend is turning on snapping right here and making sure that you have vertex snapping turned on. That's gonna make this a lot easier to drag these and align them with the corners. So you can see I can drag this right here and I can just use this to align my floor with a space. And notice how that vertex snapping is making it so I can come in here and I can actually just, uh, I can basically drag this and snap this to each one of the walls just like this. And so if I hit a point like this one where I need more parts of my wall, I can just come in here and under parts, I can just add parts. And notice how it might get a little bit twitchy as to where those parts get added. So you may just wanna add a fair number of these parts in before you finalize this. But then all you have to do is just click and drag these little boxes until they align with your walls. So you can add a custom floor for each room by doing this. So for example, let's say I wanted to also add a floor for this bedroom. I would just do another Shift A, and I would just add an Archipack floor, or you can use the option over here. I'm just gonna add this right here. We'll use the Move, cool, move tool and drag this over so that it aligns with this corner. And I need two more parts, so I'll just go into my parts and just make this six. and we'll just align this with our walls. So now we have multiple different floor options. We can click on this Archipact tab with these selected and we can edit each one of these individually. So for this one, for example, I could just come in here and I could just change it to a different kind of floor, like this. And so this is a pretty easy way to add custom floors into your model. And notice if you ever wanna go back and edit one, just like anything else inside of Archipack, you can select it and click on the manipulate button under the Archipack feature, or under the Archipack tab right here. So you can click on manipulate in order to start moving these parts and pieces around. So I don't want to get too far into this now. We're going to talk about materials probably next week. Note that when you select these objects, they do come in here and, and they have uh, materials applied to them. So if I was to select like this floor, for example, and uh, click on the button for my materials, you can see how this comes with a number of different materials assigned to each one of these pieces. So for example, if I was to change the diffuse on one of these, you can see how um, this would change materials in here. Um, so this add-on is supposed to have a material library that applies some materials by default. So if I was to do a Shift A and add an Archipack floor, you can see how these um, pre-rendered images show that there's materials associated with them. So there's a material library file that you can download for Archipack. You're supposed to be able in your preferences to do an edit preferences and you're supposed to be able to link to the file that that architectural or that Archipack matlib blend file is, you're supposed to be able to select that and it's supposed to be able to go in there and find the associated materials with this. For whatever reason, that doesn't seem to be working for me. I'm hoping maybe one of you has had this issue and you know exactly uh, how to fix that. But there are supposed to be some default materials in here and I haven't been able to get them to work. So if you know, leave a comment down below and let me know. But otherwise, you can come in here and for each one of these, you can see how this is going to apply a material in here. You can kind of adjust the colors in order to start making this look however you want it to look. So you can uh, adjust the colors um, of the materials applied to each one of these flooring types. You could also use nodes in order to create more complex materials. But just note that that is in there. I have not quite been able to figure out exactly how to make it work yet. And we will talk more about materials next week. 
So that should give you an idea of how to start adding your floor geometry inside of Blender. In the next video, we can talk a little bit more about materials. Again, if you have any information about that default material file, leave a comment down below and let me know. But we'll talk more about materials in the next video. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.